So about two weeks ago, I said to Luke, Luke, would you like to race the Daytona Amateur Supercross race? And he said, yes, I would. And I said, are you sure? <laughs> Mini Senior 1 already filled up, which means he was going to have to go into Mini Senior 2, which means that uh, he would be riding with kids 13 to 15. So he's he turned 13 in, in November, end of November, no, middle of November. Basically, he's going to be on the track with kids that are all older than him and more experienced. They all probably have done this race before or similar races to it. So I was like, Luke, do you want to do it even though you're probably not going to make the main event? And he said, yes, dad. He said, I just want to go out there and I just want the experience of being on the track and spending as much of your money as possible. And I was like, perfect. This race is perfect for you then. Okay. He didn't, he didn't say that, but he did say that he just wanted to do it and uh, see what it was like. And then maybe next year come back and his goal would be to make a main event next year. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's sign him up. And my goal isn't for him to get a trophy or finish mid pack or make the main. We have realistic expectations. The goal is just for him to go out there and come off the track a better, more experienced racer after today. Is that's it and that's if he doesn't fall or uh, get laps he's got five laps they're supposed to rule everything on the first lap so really he's got four laps to try to get this track figured out and ready to race on it <laughs> line double for the first time and I don't know if he was supposed to do that because there were yellow flags but I think he just wanted to get it out of the way and just get it done so he went for it. Luke, hey, good job man. Was I in last? Uh, well you're like almost last. I don't know if you're in complete last but you didn't get lapped right? I don't think so. Yeah, nice. Good job man. Hit a few jumps. 
most of them, yeah. Well, cool. I actually feel a lot better now after uh, Luke just got done with practice. I feel like he rode good. He was able to jump some stuff. He handled the sand okay. So all in all, I think it went pretty well. And also he got shuffled to the back of the pack by the end of the practice, but it wasn't like he was just like out of place. It's not like he was, you know, so far off the pace that it's like, what, what is he doing here? He's in the wrong class. It wasn't like that. So I feel good. I feel better. I feel like, you know, he, he should he should do pretty decent. Also, we brought Lillian's bike just as a backup in case something on Luke's bike breaks or something goes wrong. We could just use hers or use parts or whatever. She'll never know. So Luke, impressions on the track. Was it what you thought it was going to be? Yeah. They changed it a lot. I thought they were going to keep the same layout. Just came it down. I was hoping so too. I thought the layout would have been similar to last night. They got rid of the over-under. They got rid of the... Yeah, the, the triple, the uh, finish line is like a tabletop now. They left the sand here, they left the sand pit. Luke is Moto 31, hopefully like 40 more minutes until his uh, his race. It is like 5.30 right now, so it's getting to the end of the day. Long day, guys. These kind of races, a lot of sitting around waiting. I know probably a lot of kids have multiple uh, classes and motos and stuff, but uh, Luke just did one. So we've been sitting around, finally about to get going. I was looking at the GoPro for his practice. As I said before, as you know, I'm not a fan of chest mounts. I just do not like the way it looks. I don't want to look at the gap cap all moto so I'm gonna see if I can play with this and, and raise it up a little bit and see if I could get a better angle uh, somehow for his for his moto see if I could raise this up a little bit how's it feel Luke like a bra never really got the full experience of uh, wearing a bra but oh it's great you'll love it okay guys so I just found out rider gate but I guess they switched it and they have a 40 rider gate and there's 30 kids in his class so I just found out that all the kids are going to qualify out of this heat race and go to the main event so really I guess this race is just kind of like another practice Yeah. <laughs> 
Did he get up? Is he good? Did he get going? Um, turns out he was on the side of the track for a long time, like one lap or something. I don't know, man. I don't know if he's okay or what. And then the GoPro stops, just for no reason. Just cause. The GoPro gods are not on our side today. Sorry, Luke. You all right? His foot hurts, his ankle. A little swollen. So you uh, were front and high, couldn't quite adjust it, and then you got kind of like whiskey throttled off the track. But were you, what happened, like were you stuck under the bike or something? You were kind of like disappeared for a long time. There weren't any flaggers or anything. It hurt. Like my leg, I landed on my foot and it like bent. Oh. So I just laid down for a bit. Oh, okay. I was trying to break a cup block, like stuck on my bike, and I was trying to break it off, and some guy had to come out. All right, well, that's it for today anyways, because the main event isn't until tomorrow. Luke may or may not have a, a hurt foot right now.